the coalition. Correct, passenger, Jeff Johns. I did. A Wade. Um, I may have. Yeah. <laughs> um, what? Any, uh, what's going on with that? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't really remember, frankly. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, hmm. amnesia. I think publicity amnesia hit. Um, <laughs> Black Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breck has her own PR going on. I'm going to let her handle that. Uh, we don't want to build any false expectation, any, you know, false uh, hope. Right. Uh, right. We don't want to let people down. I, the What does occur and, and happen in terms of any sort of intermingling is uh, it's fun, and that's all I can say. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Uh, I, a little underwhelming. Yeah, I apologize for fun. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I, I, I had a, I had a hand in in that. Uh, that. Mm. Whatever that is, <laughs> you guys feel free to uh, 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 read between the lines and fill that in on your own. Um, yeah. Just a general one. What can you tease about what's coming ahead this season for Gar? Uh, it's been three seasons of trauma for Gar, and this season is diving into mental health. It's diving into using pain as the uh, fuel for uh, self growth, self discovery. Um, his powers evolve in ways that we haven't seen on the show yeah, quite drastically and quickly. Um, there is a force that kind of pervades through DC that um, Gar will be uh, maybe communing with, uh, being communed with. Um, which helps to kind of bring him back into his primal self, uh, inform his ability to be greater and more than he ever has been with his limiting self-belief and, and uh, self-created narratives that keep him in uh, a bit of a Stockholm syndrome um, from previous family uh, dynamics and and being the caregiver and the in the, the most service worker of, of, of the group, he takes a step back to kind of reevaluate what he needs. And when he does that, the, the, the level of growth that comes out of this character this season is, um, I said it already, but it's payoff. It's payoff. I, you know, fans have been wanting something of this for a while and for him for a while. And I think this is the season that I, I think people will be pleasantly surprised. What's it been like playing that? It's it's been it's been phenomenal. I mean, I, I think post pandemic, I think one of the major topics that humanity as a whole should be discussing is mental health and and how we uh, evolve consciousness and and what comes from the deep work, what comes from the self inquiry, what comes from trying to expand past preconceived. Uh, notions about oneself, not just of others, but what what you limited yourself to, and that I mean, it's it's it, it, the plot and the character are, are so entwined at that point because his whole thing is he can evolve and he can change. Um, we wanted to still tell the, the human story of Garfield Logan and all the trauma that pre-exists the season or uh, predates the season. He, he comes into his own in a way where it, it's gonna we, he's been smiling he's been laughing through the pain but now it's 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 entirely different he can he can accept the pain he can heal the pain he can acknowledge that that's valid without putting too much stake into it without that becoming who he is without that being the motivating factor of why he wants to help or why he is the way he is. You know, there, is a, there is an opportunity to grow outside of the, uh, yeah, the, the traumas of the past. That sounds great. In the, in the comics, uh, Brother Blood has a deep connection with, um, with Beast Boy. Sure. Are we going to get some of that mingling this season and you know tapping into the red and all that? Uh, so, Brother Blood... Uh, and Beast Boy do not have many scenes with one another. Okay. For good reason. Okay. Um, 
Joseph Morgan, uh, his entire, I think, purpose is not only to be a phenomenal human being, a phenomenal performer, but is to drive the stakes of the show higher. Uh, my goal is to always drive the stakes of the show lower. I am trying to bring everyone back to a laugh, a chuckle, a heartfelt moment, and you can't really have that when people's faces are being torn off and you know people are bleeding from their eyes. And this is no, like it. So we. It, it, I don't think it was intentional, but it worked out the way it needed to, so um, there wasn't too much intermingling and crossplay between the two. Uh, there is uh, there is a little bit of um, intermingling when Joseph Martin is still uh, Sebastian Sanger, um, and that's, a, that's an interesting uh, storyline that you guys will see early on. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So for a lot of this series, um, Beast Boy and Gar slash Gar has been the guy in the chair, mm. like kind of piloting everything. Are we going to see you in, more in the field this season? <laughs> yeah, you mean, you mean uh, tech support? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, so that, 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 there's always a little bit of that to some degree, uh, but yeah, Gar, Beast Boy, they are in the field in... Um, Maybe a little bit too far out of the field. Uh, yeah, no, it's not even. It, they're not, he's not even in the same playing field at times. So that that might give you some insight as to uh, where his journey takes him. <laughs> So now that he is kind of being his genuine self, sure. who is he this season? Who is he? Uh, he's 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 the embodiment of compassion. He's you know he's the friend that you call when you're having a hard day. He's the he's the guy that'll give you a hug if you're having a cry. He's the one that'll laugh off a, a, a hard a hard day at work. Um, uh, he's he's just unfolding this season in a way that I've had just the most fun, just the most fun playing him. And it reminds me a lot of kind of Greg Sipes' mentality and approach to the character and uh, even what they were able to do in Young Justice this season with his therapy and bringing in an animal companion. I don't have uh, a wingman, a guruji of my own, but um, the... Uh, the idea that you know we all have something to work on, uh, being the underlying story for Gar is a uh, it's it's a beautiful cause to champion, and um, you know I I almost want to put at the end of an episode like if you're struggling with your mental health, visit this website. You know that's almost what it feels like he's bringing to each episode. So I. Uh, yeah, it's been an absolute honor. HBO Max PSA. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.